Hi, and welcome along to the weekend preview, or as this super chat from Bilal, Bilal says, DR Late Sports. <laughs> Sorry, bro, uh, we got a little bit caught up, but we are here, and the international break is over. Vamos. And we are back with the Premier League, and it is hotting up. Hotting up this week. Big games going on. Every game from now till the end of the season is big. There's a massive title race going on. There's a big race for the top four. And there's a big race to stay up as well, especially with all the points deductions and stuff like that's been going on. Here to discuss it, we've got AGT, big Liverpool fan as we know, the Cop TV, Abby oh. Summers, Tottenham's <laughs> finest. And of course, we've got Flex, United View, big Man United fan, oh, no. Kobe Mainu fan, all kind of fans. He's in the building, right? And we are going to be talking about the games coming up this weekend. But first of all, <laughs> remind him about Match Bingo. First of all, it's nice to be back. Um, oh, yeah, I've had a week away. Yeah. Ain't seen you in ages. Cred incredible time. That Living large. Ain't seen you since the FA Cup. Then <laughs> <laughs> man went out of the country, get oh, can everything, man. Ain't seen you. You, run. you know what I mean? Come on, man. <laughs> I saw you. Run. Listen, I did see <laughs> that. I, run. Did, I was over in Dubai. I did see the stuff with the sausages, man. Oh, that yeah. was a lot of sausages, man. God, that was ages ago. Almost too many sausages, really. To have your, uh, we got the screenshot we wanted though, Flex. We did. With the sausage very dangerously near his mouth. But <laughs> <laughs> as you guys know, we are um, teaming up with Match Bingo this season. They've been very supportive of our content, especially this show and the Monday show that we do. The one that you guys love. So this is brought to you again by Match Bingo, where every goal, save, throw, and I haven't done this for a while, uh, corner or substitution can win you real. Cash. 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 It makes the footy even more enjoyable, <laughs> right? As you play along with your bingo card on your device. All you have to do is download the app by clicking the QR code here. I think it's around here. Or smash that link in the description. Once you've grabbed yourself some cards, play along. And as events happen in the game, your card automatically gets stamped. Complete a line, get the full house, win the cash, which we've never done, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> you close every time. Close yeah. every time. <laughs> Matched bingo, two away, if anything. One away. Um, you can buy up to five cards per match. Cards are two pounds each, guys. So we're not asking you to um, to drop loads of money on this. It's a bit of fun, as we've all been involved with. This week, we're giving you a free card to play with. It's Aston Villa versus Wolves, the Midlands derby. Bit of that, <laughs> bit of Jan. Dan Bardell. Jan, Dan Bardell, <laughs> Matty Cooper, and them sausages. Um, over a thousand pounds to be won this week with the Man City and Arsenal game easily the biggest game this weekend we're looking forward to seeing that every card purchased supports the Stroke Association a charity close to us here at DR players must be 18 or over play responsibly and like I said smash that link in the description or click the QR code on screen now to play yep yep big games as you said this weekend massive mate right we're going massive. to jump straight into it right big big game this week Abby Summers team playing Man City <laughs> versus the <laughs> Arsenal, right? At the Etihad. I was actually up there yesterday. We was doing oh, some uh, content. I can't see what oh, you was looking doing. forward oh, to that. I, <laughs> oh. I saw the story. I laughed at it straight away. <laughs> Robbie, I hope it's another masterpiece. I'll tell you, I'll tell you all right. I'll tell you, it's got a that? brilliant video up there, man. We have to wait and see. When's it out? You have to wait and see. You have to get over to AFTV. It's got to be today, though, right? Robbie, it's lonely, you know. If You know what it's like if you do do that and you lose. I remember last. But do that yeah. and you win. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Right? You lose. I remember last. It's gonna be a bad Monday. Last year's video is still I, circulating. I'm I a think. bold guy, you know. I'm bold. I'll, yeah, I'll put it out there. Right? Ball, man. I remember last year, right? <laughs> right when we lost, yeah. Like, I was already upset. I'd even forgotten about the video. We the Captain already, America speech. I was already pissed yeah. off and all that, right? And then like <laughs> the next day. Then I'm like, look at my phone. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, I did that. <laughs> and then, how can you, how can you forget the whole lap round at Etienne? Yeah. Well, I'd forgotten, man. Because Argentina, Brazil, Africa, Angola, everywhere. Captain Believe Africa. Believe. Believe. Africa. <laughs> Please tell me you've done the same thing again. I beg you. You have to wait and see. Oh, oh, when's it coming out? Wait and see. They're coming out. There's a series of videos which oh. will be dropping from today. You have to wait Ooh. and see, man. Over on AFTV. AF TV. Check well, it out. He's not going to be was, scared, uh, is he? No, no, no. So, I was, uh, Cecil at the doing a dance and everything. <laughs> Cecil went there yesterday, uh, was he? He was, he was. Oh, he was. Right. But yeah, it was up at the Etihad yesterday. Um, and, you know, it just, when you get there now, you start to realise <laughs> it. <laughs> Formidable. And and that's got, no one there. Have you seen, yeah. seen they've got this big banner there now? Yeah. That says, best team in the land. And then it's got all the trophies they've won. Like, all five of them that they won. I'll tell you. next to it, though. 
well, asterisks or not, they've won them, <laughs> so right? Silly. It's going to be a really, really tough game. But Arsenal go there in really, 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 really good form. We're top of the league. Can't even remember the last time you played. We've been... What happened, genuinely? Well, huh? Who was it? Who you, you beat? You haven't played for because you had a long... Yeah, been ages, was it Brentford? But... It's Brentford, That's yeah. The last yeah. Game. That was in the league. Actually, yeah. the last oh. game was a Porto game, wasn't it? So uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Penalty. But, um... Yeah, Arsenal go there in great shape. <laughs> no, I wasn't, I wasn't um, even saying, I'm saying it was penalties, I just remember. Just, but Manchester City have that formidable home records. Um, yeah. They they smashed us last year there, 4-1. Um, De Bruyne has come but, through some fitness tests, I saw. Yeah, they do. Lots of mind games. Like right. yeah. 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 I don't believe any of it. I don't believe out, Stones or that. There's nothing wrong with these guys. Because obviously that big injury that kept Saka, him out of England. Saka, yeah. nothing's, it, it's big all mind oh, games. Do you rate that then? When Arsenal huh? take players away from the international It's all mind games. Oh, okay. But you are you okay with that? What, they did it? Do you think anything's wrong with Walker? <laughs> that was Trent. Do you think anything's wrong Stones. with Walker? Nah, but he turned Stones. out he was in the game. He, he felt something. He, 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 he was right? playing during the Julian, game. Julian was there. He was sitting in the club Wembley. So he said oh, I was there as well. I'll take yeah. Julian. His hammy's gone, Julian, man. I was there. I saw it. Julian said he saw Walker at half time run up the steps. Okay, but at least his hamstring's gone. He's running up the steps. Yeah, but at least gone. No, he could feel something. No, hammy gone. That's four weeks. I'm just saying. At least they played the game. At least they turned up and they played the game. Saka, Saka, what was Saka doing? Saka. He was injured. <laughs> Is it Nando's, man? Yeah. <laughs> He's injured, man. You know what I mean? And I'm glad. You know what I mean? Yeah, he I mean went, we, he? Went we need went Saka for that game. <laughs> Listen, that one it's training a, thing. Happened, it's man. an absolutely <laughs> massive game. Went. Absolutely massive game. Um, but the one thing about it that I picked up off of uh, City fans last year when I was up there, they're all like, bro, it's light work. We're going to deal with you lot. We went there on the back of a couple of draws. Yeah, you know, we're feeling... It's petering out. They knew that would be the final yeah. nail that time. This time, when I was talking to some City fans, they're like, boy, all right. <laughs> Managed to find some. Yeah, <laughs> they were there. How many? They were sort of like, nah, this is going to be a proper game. Like, yeah, they, 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 they are not like looking on it like how they looked on it last year. They're looking at it and thinking, also a lot more serious this year and it should be a great game and I want to find out how you guys are feeling about the game I mean we haven't beaten Man City at the Etihad since 2015 they haven't lost for two years there yeah but I think this game is I agree with you it's a different um, set of circumstances going into the game this year compared to last year I think even maybe you deep down for a result there would be you know super tough last year but I I'm giving Arsenal kind of the the belief to go there and, and get something you got if it's a title race you got to go there and you can't leave empty handed mm -hmm. Liverpool went there and got a point I think that's the absolute minimum I do think you can go and win by the way but I do think you can't leave empty handed in this period as we're approaching April it's April Fool's Day on Monday as well isn't it so there might be a few jokes on uh, on Monday if, the, if it doesn't go Robbie's way no but I've just said I, d I do think you can win we've seen Again, this was two years ago, but we've seen Brentford go there and win. They can have an off day there. They really can. But I don't think Rodri's lost in a year for club or country. Mm. So to go there and win nice. is going to take, I wouldn't say domination possession wise, because you know, mm. it's, it's ebbs and flows with that. But when you get that chance or chances, you, you, <laughs> you have to score them. Mm. You cannot miss them chances at the Etihad. Tottenham went there and got scored three goals and mm. got a draw. Mm. Fair play. But, uh, Chelsea went there, got a draw. Should have won. Well, their record against the top six is poor. Oh. Really? Yeah, this season. Not really it's great. poor. So what are you thinking? It's there for the taking, Rob. I think whoever wins this game wins the league. Wins the league. Nah. What, just take... I what keep saying that. Let's just keep Mark, disregarding you. Nah. Liverpool, like, nah. <laughs> Liverpool oh, just... <laughs> we got that Liverpool. Also, points is there. Purely for the fact, and this, this is just my own opinion on it, the the team I've enjoyed watching the most, be, being completely unbiased this season, is Arsenal. They wow. play the best football. It's big they are never bang in form. That. I never say it. I'm just being yeah, honest, fair right? Because for once, I'm just being honest, right? If you had to look at the way a team plays football, Arsenal have been the most consistent, especially since Christmas in this period. If you were going to start any type of consistency, it needed to be this side of the season, in my opinion. I think that the way that you're on, the way you're scoring goals, the way you're playing, um, if you go there and you get a result, I think everything is in your favour. Obviously, you've still got big games to come, but I feel like the, the pendulum like, swings a little bit in your favour and the confidence that team mentally would have mm. across the squad, across the fan base, everything. I feel like that's a massive driving factor to try and take you over, uh, over the edge and, and win the league. City, for me, we were, we were speaking about it yesterday on another show, but 
they haven't been, I think, at their best, but they don't necessarily need to be. They can just get over the line by winning games, you know, 1 0, 2 1, whatever. They don't necessarily have to do it. They can, and they, we've seen it before, win the league without putting any real pressure on or being at a canter. But this is the first time City have been in a two, three horse race for a very long time. Um, and I think that Liverpool included, all three teams could go and win the league. I just mm. think this is going to have such a massive significance to Arsenal from a mentality standpoint that it's actually getting over the line in this massive game, going away and winning at City for the first time in nearly 10 years. Last season, obviously, it, it, you were falling off at that point, but it was definitely a nail in the coffin. So if you can get yourself over the line, I, I don't know, I just... I think that it might be yours if you get if you get a win. Hopefully you don't. What do you think? Arsenal got a chance, man. Arsenal got serious. You got to take Arsenal seriously going into this game. I know the record there stinks recently, but it is a different Arsenal. I, I do believe that. Um, what makes it exciting is that for all Arsenal's fortunes and how good they have been, as we know with this City team at the Etihad when it's Championship time, it can still not be enough. Every team you you you've seen it. You know what I mean? Other teams have seen it when you've got to go up against this version of City. But but saying that, this version of City they haven't been clicking as they normally would. But the danger of that is we've done this before. Is, oh, they're yeah. not really this we or they're not really that. April happens they're not and, really this. Yeah. And then they just find ways, man. These are the championship rounds, as they say in boxing. This is when it matters. So it's like, if anything, I can actually see a draw. I, there's something in me that's like, I, I don't see Arsenal getting beat. I just mm. think they're going to compete. I think Especially away, they've been... Away, yeah. I know it's a different proposition, but the goal... They've been strong. And the, and the type of goals that Arsenal yeah. have been scoring. Also, Arsenal come out so quick, you know, in the last... Couple, like the Call last five, six games, you come out the blocks absolutely flying. Yeah. And I feel like City have actually been quite slow to start. City can be got at, man. They definitely can they be can. got at. They can. Early on, they can. They but can. They, this should be an unbelievable game. But I think even if you look at what we're saying about Arsenal, we would never have said this last year. Even then with, you know being in a title challenge. We would not have said, I think Arsenal have any, I definitely wouldn't have said that. I think last season, we all, I mean, Robbie did his speech as as is famous now, but I think <laughs> deep down last season, we all knew City would win that yeah, game. Yeah, and it ain't but like this that one, now. This uh, one, uh, it ain't like that But now. then again, it wouldn't surprise me if City win 2-1. Yeah. No, but the reason it's not like that now, is because Arsenal have showed that they're just not there to pretend. Yeah. Like, they've got teeth. They, yeah, they've, they've showed they've got skills. Chess. They've got to January. They've had question marks over Arteta. Did he change too much early on in the season? Why did he do this? We've changed the goalkeeper. Oh, look, Havertz, what, what are we doing? And then it was like, oh, this was the plan. Look, fair play. And then from, like Abby said, from January onwards, form. You've clicked at the like, right time. Peaked at the right time. So you're, you're going into this game with everything you need in your corner mm. to be able to Get topple something. City. You're going in with everything. And if you come out empty handed, it can be damaging, but it still ain't over. Are, are, we, are we disrespecting City here, though? I no, because like we're saying they can win. We're saying I like... I feel like we're talking about Arsenal a lot, but we're, this is a City would probably prefer team. that, that they're not spoken but about are we mad favourites Are we mad that we're doing no, that? I don't no, think, I think, I think it's disrespectful to just say... Cream to just say prizes. City will a million percent win this game. That's, I think that's then disingenuous to Arsenal with how well they've been doing. I, we're, I, we're accepting that City yeah, is still the favourites. I'm looking on it and say, listen... Still at home. It sort of reminds me of when we sort of first went to Liverpool and got like a, a draw. Like, we've been going out there for years getting yeah. smashed. But I remember the year when we went up there and we got that draw. I was quite confident going to that game. No, normally I'm going You had City like, quite soon after that. And yeah, but all, I just be normally you? going out there thinking, yeah, I know what's coming, right? And hopefully a prayer. But I actually went up there that season thinking, no, actually we turn up, man. I think we could beat Liverpool, even at Anfield. That's kind of how I feel now. I'm kind of like, if we turn up at this game, if we overcome that mental barrier, that's the biggest thing. Which is when we go to that place, we always seem to get beat. If we can overcome that and be brave in our play, I think we have enough that we can go there and get a result. We can beat City, but it's still Man City, it's still Pep Guardiola, they still got quality. We have to be concentrated right throughout that game. And I do think that this game is huge for us. I feel that if we could get a winner, it would remind me a little bit of like when Leicester won the title, where everybody was sort of saying, well, I don't know, man. Could they, man? And remember Leicester, they went to City. 5-2, beat they them up. And got that win. And mm. I was, even me Mara, after that Mara, game, yeah. I was like, hey, you know what? <laughs> They're serious, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was mid-April. Yeah. That was the game <laughs> when I was like, I think they could actually win. do it, you know. Because yeah. I go, bloody, what? <laughs> so mad. That shocked me. So it's like that moment for Arsenal that 
this is a big moment for us. If we, if we could go there and we can get a result, what would I the, think the belief that that would give this yeah. team? Even if you draw, I think you get a lot of draw wouldn't be Especially the end of the world. It does depend on the circumstances. Like if you were like two nil up and drew, you're going to yeah. feel gutted yeah. or something yeah. like that. But yeah. if you was you know going toe to toe, it was just a good shootout and it was a fair result. It's just as you were. I mean, remember when, when when Spurs went up there this season? I thought they kind of times were playing playing City yeah. off the park. The Chelsea one, I think, yeah, Chelsea did all right. That first half, in man, the first man, half, chances, but then in the second half, they did miss a lot of chances. Yeah. I always City. think the Spurs one, like, it's just, it, the Spurs one is like a weird anomaly because we just, we always, always do all right, do all right, do all right, right there. Like, we just do. But, but you know the what, Chelsea one was really iron. Yeah, but you know what it is with the Tottenham one? When you lot went up there, what I thought, I had to give you a lot of credit, right, is that they were really brave. And they didn't they have played, no players. They're yeah. brave, man, yeah. and they've been missing yeah. a lot of players. Davis, and, brave, and, Davis, yeah. and I, I think that's what Arsenal are going to have to be. Arsenal, not, not, not gun ho <laughs> not stupid, but they're going to have to play their game. They're going to have to, and the key player, again, I think is Rice. If Rice has to step up. Rice v. Rodri. That Ooh. midfield of, you know, oy Rice oy. and Rodri. I've got two questions for you. you know, um, what would the, you talk about the mental barrier that you need to overcome, and it's easy to talk about. It's so difficult to actually do it. If things don't go your way yeah, and it's that. a big loss, mm. then it's what, another the mental barrier like, to overcome. Then it yeah. becomes an even higher barrier to reach. And the second question is, and be honest, someone offered you a draw right now, would you take it? I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair though. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Sorry, That's fair. That's fair. Because you're what? You're one point ahead as well. Yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the Etihad, isn't yeah. it? So Don't look at it as your only gain in one. Think we're, we're stopping them from getting well, all three. Obviously, yeah. a draw would suit you, right? That's what you yeah, You want that. That'd be yeah. brilliant for you. Yeah. Yeah. Who you got, Brighton, isn't it? Yeah, but home. they've given us some tough games yeah. at, at home, man. Yeah, yeah true. We're going to get to that three, in a three and all Let that. me do a few yeah. super chats here. Uh, Zoeb says, uh, Robbie, you need to bring the chicken shop challenge to... Di You've got to watch that. <laughs> Julian. Oh. Uh, I saw the thumbnail. I need to... Oh, yeah. oh, what's that out? That's out, man. We Julian. Be. He said, <laughs> we'd love to see you guys with that so volcano funny. sauce. Oz says, City haven't lost since 2022 at the Etihad. Who was it? And it's 2024. Was it was that, one at, one at Brentford. It's been Brentford. Brentford. Oh, yeah. Brentford. Got, uh, yeah. Was that just before yeah. the international break? The Ivan Tony. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, uh, Pluggy yeah. still says, uh, forever uh, beautiful, bad mind, um, Abby. <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> bad mind. As well. <laughs> uh, Zobi Fanatic says, uh, Abby, you know... Um, I like you, but you have to. You're seriously bad mind. You <laughs> <laughs> actually picked up Arsenal just. Uh, literally, I just you can't get, win, Abby. I'm in the comments, can't if I'm win, mate. You, if I back you, what, what do you want from me, guys? No Come one on. trusts you. They just like, they know you're says uh, Arsenal <laughs> only have one win away against the top twelve. Hmm? No. Uh, Someone stat check. Let's what this, this season? This yeah. I cut my check that that is it, is it going to be an? I need an AGT special on this. I want it to be true. Someone check that. Away, top 12. I mean, you the didn't top beat 12 Chelsea, you didn't time. beat Liverpool. You haven't been to us yet. Did you, you didn't beat West Ham. No, you mashed no, up West Ham. So they haven't been to West Ham. So we beat West Ham 6 0. Yeah. We beat West Ham 6 0. We beat Wolves, Newcastle. We ain't played Wolves. Lost away. against Newcastle. Lost against Newcastle. Brighton. Lost against Villa. Ain't played away yet. Ain't played Brighton. No, but they beat West Ham. We beat West Ham 6 0. Did he say one win at 12 or no? I actually said one way. Wait there. Whoa. could be right there. I tell you what, he's right. with that. No, but who's in the top 12? Chelsea. They haven't been to Tottenham yet. Yeah, so there's a few games they ain't played yet. Yeah, bring them, man. Right. Joe Fleming Mulford says, Arsenal are going to get Brock up, he says. Dragon Vinskaya says, Arsenal cross City easy. Probably 2 0 or 3 1. Come oh, on, your gunners. Geez. Boy, I hope you're right, bro. Uh, Kaletso says, in Abby's words, uh, gonna be a covation. Gonna be covation. <laughs> I saw Arsenal that win. come to light when yeah, I was yeah, away. So I still remember Listen, that. I still oh, think yeah. it's a compliment. Recent. I was just giving yeah, you a compliment. Yeah, so yeah, cheeky. Right. It wasn't so a compliment. Cheeky. I didn't call you Zombie you Fanatic that. says, Abby, you know what? Oh, yeah, I already did that one about you being bad mind. And I'll, I'll back up what the good brother say. Go sign that. Zizu says, uh, Abby waffling about by complimenting Arsenal as the best team to watch after all those predictions <laughs> of having us tie or lose. What do you want me to do? She, she goes reverse oh, psychology wait. there. You know what? You might have a point there. You know? I know this girl, man. I literally this is what she no does. I did it yesterday does. with you. She's I had Yeah, and, and, and when you took the apology, I said, I don't believe you. <laughs> Your tone was uh, on. Clara Bitsy <laughs> says, I need that Abby back <laughs> who used to manifest Arsenal dropping points every game. We need a City win this weekend. No, we need Arsenal uh, win, man. Look, Tash says, Singh says, uh, if we win against City, really. um, it's still almost impossible to win 16 to 18 matches, which will be needed. Well, it's not. It's only 
Nine I, feel, games I don't left know what office. people say. City Rivers the only will, team that can do that. Liverpool have done it. You've yeah, done it. Yeah, yeah. You can go 15 Rivers will call us bottlers, but we are becoming better every season. Next season, the title will be ours. Uh, Shimon Ahmed says, uh, Kobe Mainu is a good player, but Man United fans should calm down a little. Preach. Because Kobe Mainu... You just because we, sorry, don't we had Kobe Mainu in Wilshire. And look how that turned out. <laughs> Oh, we'll get wow. to the Kobe Mainu. We we'll get to the Kobe Mainu thing <laughs> later go. on. Of course, um, what, what should I get? The, let me get predictions actually yeah. before we get into that. Predictions flex. Come on, Arsenal man, I think rise. Say the same. Arsenal, Arsenal for the league. Oh, no. I think Arsenal to overcome the hurdles. Arsenal to top all City at the Etihad and behind it. Arsenal two. City one. Can I just say, before we hear Abby's, I don't think enough is made of how shameless you are when it comes to why? Arsenal. Why? Because yeah, why? Because uh, I don't want no, my two greats. Because I'm a Man United fan and I don't no, want. No, but the way you're Liverpool actively supporting, you can say, oh yeah, if the but best of a bad bunch. But, my, but, but they're playing against no. Fair, if, if, I Liverpool, can't say if Liverpool, if Liverpool, if Liverpool, if Liverpool, for the right, same agenda. But I wouldn't go out and say. Come would, you on. Want, would you want ever? Would you want ever to win anything against anyone? No way. No way. Yeah, it's not your rivals, so you can you say that. It, you Come on, Arsenal. Man, C- Man City and Liverpool. Man. Man City and Liverpool are my rivals. Straight well, up. You wouldn't think it Arsenal by the way you, you support Arsenal all of a sudden. Well, Arsenal mad. aren't my rivals. Yeah, but I, I can't. Arsenal I, aren't my rivals. I get it because there's bigger things at stake here. So you want me to, do you want me to want City to win? I, yeah. It doesn't matter who you want that to win, help. but for me, hearing you mm-hmm. go out actively and say, "Say I want Arsenal, Arsenal to beat City." Yeah, in this game, I want Arsenal to beat City. What's so hard Fair about enough. that? I'm a Man United fan. She's going two one. Where you well, go? Can we get a check on that? Actually, yeah. because I get it. I I'm get going, it. I, get it. I, I think you found out I was a Man United fan. Say the score after five. Okay. One, two, three, four, two, five, two, two. two. Yeah. There you go. So I actually predicted two two as well. You know. You can do it, man. What? Get a draw. They can win. Oh, I Look, I hope it's a City win, but... I just want to see a bloody good game of soccer. Bloody good hey? game. No, you don't. You want to see a draw. If we win 2-1, yeah. <laughs> bring you a fix and a drink on Monday, man. Trust me. And all... There'll be a truce with Man United if we... If we I think there is. It's like when the blood's in the crypt. Right. Tight there's, 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 time, there's times where you lay down your weapons, bro. K-Coke okay, settings. Okay, K-Coke settings, bro. Lay down your weapons. Yeah. That's it. There's times where you have to say, listen, we have to come together yeah. for a greater good. I want you to do them, man, in that game. In the Champions oh. League, I want you so to go out. So season, when I'm a big City <laughs> fan, and, you know, we're all on the bandwagon. No, that's different. No, oh, okay. you just right, um, okay. have nothing ever. With all that talk about uh, <laughs> Man City Arsenal <laughs> game, there is a game going on just before that at two o'clock. Liverpool at mm. home against Brighton. If you win that that's game, Sunday. you go top of the league and put pressure on both teams. Mm. Yeah. If you um, lose that game, you'd be in a bit of a slump. Definitely. After Old Trafford. Definitely. I don't think we'll Please. I don't think we lose at home. I can't even that was oh so we're doing that's the same competition. Now. Please. That was Please. FA Cup Please. Just Please. wait till next Not Sunday. To let it just go. wait Mate, till next one Sunday, game at a time. You're coming to Old Trafford. Why are you talking about other games? Just chill. Then? You're only as good as your last game, they say. You ain't played yet. In the Premier League. Chill out, chill, just chill. I mean, we won our last game in the Premier League. Chill. You've got to Did you? You're only as good as the last game you played, mate. The last game you played Old Trafford. Is that the scars of that defeat at Old Trafford? Is that still a hangover? Nah, the buyer oil is on them scars. It's washing away at them scars. In fact, we're coming to give them some scars next week. Mate, stop thinking forward. One game. Why are you skipping the game? Whoa, whoa. You just said, what about that game? What's all this? What's all this? It's the last game you made. Why are you thinking two games forward? You're doing it AGT. Mate, you're making it this yourself. week, mate. It's Why this week. Actually, you're playing Brighton. You didn't talk about it three weeks ago. You're playing around. Brighton. But we can, you, you, do you know what I mean, mate? Why are you getting rattled? Yeah, you've just come off holiday. Yeah. I know. You've just come off holiday. Why are you raising your blood pressure? I needed this. <laughs> I've been missing this. <laughs> Ten days. Getting yourself That's been building up the whole yeah. holiday. I'm trying to... Like, he's just saying to his missus, wait till I go. All I said is, Tegan said, Tegan said, you need to, you need to go and talk about football. You're just doing, you're doing too much. Because he left, because he left, he left mash up. He didn't, couldn't get it out of the system. That's what I'm saying. I know him. I know him. You can just imagine him, right? Tegan's just laying there, right? just some peace and quiet and he's like and do you know what another thing another thing and Gus like, do you know what it was offside <laughs> um, but yeah this game as you said opportunity Brighton, to go Brighton. top Record against Listen, Sweden. I know you you seem to have a, a big agenda against Brighton, but they come to Anfield and they put their cards on the table and they give us a bloody good game most of the time. I think when Trossard came and scored a hat trick, that's when I stood up and really took Brighton with serious consideration because the way that and again, you know, thirty percent of the time they can turn up against a big away team or at home and brush them aside with ease. But then there is that big chunk where they just 
have a lot of injuries. They don't really get a click in in the game and all of a sudden they're two or three down. And they're not really a team that can come back, in my opinion. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if we can maybe nick a, an early goal or two, um, the atmosphere is going to have to be incredible as it, all, as it is most of the time. Um, and again, it's a must-win game. And I think with the injuries that we've got, we're looking at maybe two weeks away from Alisson coming back. I think the United game will be a bit too soon. We're looking at Trent coming back very soon. Um, not for this game? Not for this no. game. I don't. They, if, he said before the international break, maybe, but mm. I don't think so. But Robertson's out, just got injured again oh, with yeah, Scotland. Scotland isn't it? Yeah. It's two injuries with Scotland in his last two international breaks. That's should have done what you did to be fair and just taken him out um, so the players are starting to come back I probably think that Joe Gomez starts at left back um, Canate, Van Dijk Bradley will start again there's a big debate now about what happens to Trent whoever thought that we'd be saying that he obviously comes straight back in the team but the midfield I think for me when you look at their midfield I haven't really seen a, a consistent three or four that start every game you're looking at Gilmore coming in who I'm a big fan of by the way you're looking at and CISO drops a little bit. They've got clever midfield players. A couple of RX players Pascal are going to be Gross, coming mate. back. Pascal Gross has been Pascal Grob. easily their best player. <laughs> in, <laughs> in the player. Premier League era for them, Pascal Gross has been their best player. So, so respect to him. Dunk has yeah. been, even Dunk's been good. Dunk's been good. I don't know about that, mate. Well, Nunes, might, ma he's Nunes good, might mash him up, mate. <laughs> Potentially. Yeah. Nunes is licking his lips you, looking at Dunk right now. And if you look at our strikers, I think, you know, there's, there's chances there. We've really got to be putting them away. Nunes massively on form right now. Salah's back. Diaz has been ripping it up for Colombia. I don't know if you saw his assist oh. against... Oh. Who did he what? twist up? He twist uh, up... Um, the right back for Romania and Spain as well. Spain, is that the one at the Poro. London Stadium? Is it Poro? At right back? It might have been. Ooh, was it Poro? I don't know if it was. Either. Pedro. Let's just say it is. Mash, Pedro. <laughs> Even if it wasn't, Listen, it's funny. He's, he's twisted up be. some very good defenders recently. If you look just, at Walker yeah. and Rodri, <laughs> twist not them up. So yeah, in answer to your question, Robbie, it's a massive game. If we win, the pressure is almost diverted back onto you guys equal mm. split um, so yeah listen we, I'm, I'm presuming that Liverpool go strong and, you, and we win would you reckon Brighton could they could they throw a spanner you in the shit, works though. you guys I, I, was, I was concerned but it went for um, sorry what? Could, could Brighton, <laughs> that's what you cared about could please Brighton, not my player could Brighton throw a spanner in the works yeah could do. they could, they could. do I'm not even, <laughs> I need Liverpool to stay in the title race, honestly. <laughs> like, I've got only one agenda on this. Um, but, yeah, I feel like Brighton are one of those teams where they play so open. And they're a bit like Spurs, actually, in the fact that if they're having an off day, they're having a really off day. But if they're on it, then they play really good football. Mm. going to be a good game because they play a high line as well. You can get in behind. I don't know. They're such a weird bag. Another team that's just an odd one. But I feel like coming to Anfield... It's a big ask for any team, but they do, they have a, like they get points. Yeah, they have like not three enough. But they, they, they even, have even a draw would be a, a bad result. For you. Well, that would be a, a loss for us. Liverpool need to need to win this without a doubt. Mm. But I feel like they can they can cause you problems. Yeah, definitely can. Mate, look at Welbeck still scoring mm. goals you look at um, Jao Pedro scored so many goals this season you've got players that can cut in you never know so Brat yeah. Matoma yeah. Fatty yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Matoma's guys. out isn't yeah, he but do you, you, you Brighton, can they do yeah, they can cause problems but I just think they'll just play open expansive it'll be a bit of a shootout and then they'll if you do chances. that at Liverpool most of the times you lose yeah. I mean we have lost at at home this season that's what I'm saying especially you know, at Anfield since Leeds in Do you know what I can see? I can I can see like all the nice Deserby patterns and all that. Then someone then like bang, Lewis bang, Dunk bang. or yeah. Esther Pinion's going to not step up quick enough or something's going to happen individual. and then they just open them up. They just open them up. So we are clinical at home. Li Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool predictions? 3-1. 2-1 uh, Liverpool. I'll go 3-1. I'll go 3 1 as well. I think Liverpool like wins. Liverpool always so concede. I don't, I don't, always do something stupid themselves. I don't see. Right. Um, <laughs> 1 0 down early doors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you know what? Probably that. Probably 1 0 yeah. down early doors. That's what happens. Then it just wakes the them up. The then they just right. start playing and Klopp gets angry and then they just come back. Do you know what? I want to see a, a really strong run in now from Dominic Sobosly. I think he, he's mm, just got two goals and two assists for Hungary at the in the break. He has dipped off a little bit, but. What we saw kind of in the early stages of the season, we need to see that again mm. from him. And one more shout out to Harvey Elliott as well. Again, he two goals Harvey and Elliott. two assists for the under 21s. What he needs to do to get a call up, I do not know. The Rabona, no? Did you see that Rabona? I saw it. Mm. 
Then he uh, Jamie nine three two zero says, uh, "Just just champ it, Eagle. Done well, Prem, Prem oh, winner. Twenty one's doing a bone on it. But eighteen year old who's been bossing it in men's football. Which one? Oh. Bossing. Uh, Jamie I've lost the game. Jamie lost the game. We drew, mate. You got man of the match. You can't Jamie nine three two zero says, "City uh, oh, haven't lost the game since the start of December." Deepan says, "Which is more likely, Spurs to drop off and finish outside the top five, or Chelsea to have a great eleven last games and finish in the top six? Sorry." He says, which is more likely to happen? Spurs to have a drop-off and finish outside the top five or Chelsea to have a great last 11 games and finish question, in the top that. six? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Especially nah, this time of the year. Own team. You have to do Keep it moving. Keep um, moving. Ivor no. Clip says, uh, as a United fan, I hope Liverpool loses and Arsenal... Don't say that. Agency can't work out what why we don't want them to win nothing. Loses... <laughs> Loses the Arsenal v City game. How can Liverpool lose the Arsenal v City game? And uh, yeah, Anthony O says, 1993 says, AGT bringing up injuries. What happened to Klopp's kids? They're still Forgotten there. already? So what do you mean? They're still shining their trophies from a couple of weeks ago. Okay, okay, okay. Still there. Um, They've grown a little bit. They're those, a bit older now. <laughs> those two games, of course, taking place on Easter Sunday. Big, big games. Um, loads of games happening on the Saturday as well. Um, eight o'clock kickoff. They come back with that slot again. Brentford versus the man. mighty Manchester United with, ladies and gentlemen, Kobe <laughs> Mainu. What was the score there last year? Please, no. Kobe Mainu won't play, mate. <laughs> I don't think that's uh, an <laughs> answer. Kind of it. I mean, it, listen, it's been, it was 4-0 though, isn't it? Yeah, it was. There's yeah. been a lot of debate around Kobe Mainu. Great young player. Um, you was on that show, isn't it, where... What's wrong with the Ferdinands, man? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, listen, I need to know, right? Oh, they're calling you out in a group What's chat, mate. What's wrong with the Ferdinands? Call him now if you're yeah. bad. Yeah, right, call because they're, they're, first of all, he was Rio. Now it's out, Anton. Mate. They're calling me out in a group chat. Yeah, they're, they're, they're saying, well, they're, group uh, group. I think there's something coming your way today. I will say that. Guys, what, what, they're, they're on me, are they? I think Anton's going to clarify some of his statements yeah, and uh, directly to address what, you. I've not made any statement on him. No, no, of him. What I will say is Anton's trying to backtrack. Right, because we were both there. I really like Anton. I heard Anton, Anton saying. Anton said it down the lens. Yeah. yeah. Straight dead to camera. He said it basically, K Kobe Mane, who's done more than what Saka did at, at his age. Yeah, he said it was more consistent. Saka was in, in that 18 year old period. He, goes, he said Saka, enough, though, I think he said Saka weren't playing for England at 18. Which That's he what he which, which he was, but. It's not Wait, the point. one game. Starring yeah. for yeah. saying playing for England after yeah. one yeah. game. Yeah. Mane who's played more Taking, taking pens in a final. Kobe Mane who. Ooh. Great young. No, that was, no, no, that was a dig. That was a dig. That was me saying with confidence. Saw, he was. He stood yeah. up to take a pen in a final. Whatever yeah. happened, when happened. Yeah. I saw him. I saw Kobe Mane for the first time pre-season. I remember like Flex and Kane. He was gassing him in New played, York. We played a. Uh, now look, okay. <laughs> now look. Was it in Washington? <laughs> What about the yeah. rest of the yeah. clips yeah. from that trip? Made it, made it. And I said, yeah, he's, he looked good. He looked good. He, he Is it Real Madrid he played through. against him? He got he's injured. Like, he's only, yeah, you know, I mean, the way, the, come on. Uh, the way they're, they're, they're we're just, all, you know, all we're doing, all we're doing is doing what you did in the build-up when Saka was no, doing. You got proved right. Saka. No, no, in the, no, in the lead-up when Saka was doing this at 18, when you were gassing him at left-back and saying how good he is, we're just doing that. Yeah, I know, but you just... Which is fine. So Anton saying he's done better than Saka. Yeah, I... That's a wild No, do you know what? Honestly, no, my honest opinion. I wouldn't say that. I, I think it's actually... You didn't disagree with it. No, I, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. And I yeah, he's there backing him. No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. And obviously, <laughs> any, any time... He, didn't, he any, didn't stop Anton, no, by the way. I would never stop Anton saying that. This is gold. I want Anton to... Because I knew this today. Content's going on. All, all on pure AFTV. Bare pictures of Anton. Yeah. Deferred and Anne's this. And then, and then, and then they've Arsenal put pictures of Saka. You lot have put pictures of Saka. Here's what he was doing yeah, when he was 18. The minute that dropped. You just go on it. Listen, it's brilliant. It's brilliant for the internet, but I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. My thing is, I don't. I think it's quite. It's not really fair on Saka to keep using him as the benchmark like all the time. Like he's done so well to do what he's done, and it's unquestionable what he's done. And then there's this thing about like is he world class or is he not and stuff like that. But then we want to use Saka as the benchmark when there's so much mm. discussion about is he even that guy. So for me, I wasn't even doing that. Kobe Mainu to Saka. I, no, like, I don't need to. I just know my guy's really good. I know he's fantastic and I know he's on his way Great up player. and I'm proud of him. Great. That's it. Great that's up it. and coming. Yeah, that's all right. I don't know but what I can say to try it because... Let him up and come. I, 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 he he, what, he what, clarified. What? I can't... Nah, it's, no, uh, I, you know that. No, you know yeah, the voice note. Yeah. You can't... Yeah, you have can't to check. Voice, though, but, but he say, if I rang him now, he might say, I don't care, play it. But and, Anton, ask me this. Answer me this. Is, <laughs> is it the 6-0 we gave your boys that... You know, Ooh. No, make you carry on like this. I mean, I don't get it, man. What happened to the Ferdinands, bro? What happened to the Ferdinands? I'm not answering that. Huh? 
No way. It was a lot of chess. To be fair, Rio, at the start of the season, the we can get that clip up probably and play it when he goes, Manchester United finished second this season. Talk to me. <laughs> Remember when he said that? <laughs> to me, yeah? I don't forget them thing there. He said, I respect the Ferdinands, bro. Yeah, big up the but Ferdinands. Yeah, I, don't know what's, I don't know what happened to them, man, right now. And do you know what? Anton what happened Ferdinand, to the Ferdinands? Bro, just on a little <laughs> separate note, as a player, I think he's massively underrated. Anton? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. Massively. Did you see his goal? Was it against you that time? He scored a few years that ago. edge of the box left foot <laughs> you know what he always I says I swear he scored he always says 06 Anton with the braids <laughs> <laughs> Anton with I just the can't take him serious 06 Anton with the braids Jesus. but Main is a, Main is a good six. well listen here's, a, here's another chance for Mainu to stand up big game going away to Brentford great win in the FA Cup great game but that's the FA Cup. This is the league now. again now. I said that today on the preview. I literally Brentford said that. Got move on. We'll God, be fighting three weeks, weeks later. Gone. He says, "Let's move Brentford on." Brentford are going to be fighting Man, for these points, and I've got to say, <laughs> Brentford gave Arsenal a very good game at the Emirates. Right? It won't mm. be an easy game for Manchester United. Ivan Tony performed well for we England. We went and broke them up. Um, what do you reckon, Flix? How are you one. feeling about this game away from home at Brentford? No, my part. Um, <laughs> Um, is that Anton still saying Yeah, he's saying well? something. I'm just trying to... I'll, I'll he's running now, isn't he? <laughs> 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 up on the run. So, yeah. right, Anton, I, they need to hear from you, mate. I'm live on DR right now. Um, I don't know if you want to call in on FaceTime or something or just, just ring me quickly. They're holding you accountable to a lot. Robbie's calling you out, mate. They ain't happy. Seriously? <laughs> Respond ASAP, mate. <laughs> um, he, said, he said triggered. <laughs> I don't know, he might ring me. Um, I said, I said in our preview, we done it. We shot a preview today for this, and I said, listen, all Liverpool things have happened now. That's done. It's back to the Premier League, and you have to win. Brentford are in bad form. If we want to talk about getting um, in the top four, slash top five, we're six points behind Spurs. If you lose, we're nine points behind Aston Villa, and got a game in hand. So if we can win that, we could be six points in it. Got to win. Um, and we've got our players coming back. Mason Mount's back. Rasmus Hoyland's come through injury. Mount's back. There you go. Wan Bissaka. Played really well against Liverpool, 70 minutes in the tank, come off, another two weeks of training. Martinez, another two weeks of training, went away with Argentina, which was oh, planned wow. to go train with them. Then come back, Bruno sent back early. Uh, Martinez said, yeah, he's fine, just go rest up. So yeah, we've got our players, we've got players back. So you have to, there's no excuses, you have to go to Brentford and win. Yes, they can give you a good game at home, but they're down the bottom for a reason. They're struggling, they haven't won in the they last, they haven't won since early Feb. Yeah, a lot of injuries. Um, they're really, well. really struggling. A lot of injuries. Um, just that Regulon got a red card last last game, so oh, he can't play. He loves you. As yeah, well. he does. So, um, oh, yeah. yeah. It will be boosted a little bit, Brentford, by the fact that. Some Anton of the teams says, is it live? I'll oh, come on. Let me ring him. Oh, some of the teams got um, a points. I honestly can't wait to see how it's going to be. Points deduction. But um, Brentford, nasty. that's not going to be an easy game. Let's get some predictions. Oh, he's ringing Anton, is he? Brentford, In the meantime. Brentford 2 1. Hello? Brentford 2 1. Anton. You are live on DR Sports. Please do not swear. <laughs> well, I've got Robbie, Abby. Uh... <laughs> Listen, you're more, than, the you're more than for that, big man. Listen, you're more than welcome, right? We want to get Come you in show, here, right? Because yeah, you know what? I want to know. Monday. Production, I don't know if, if that's possible with the, the setup. I don't know if it's possible, but everyone can hear you. Over 6,000 people live can hear you, Anton, into my microphone. Okay. Anton. Can you, uh, Robbie, do you have a question for Anton? Anton, I need to know, man. What's the Ferdinand's got against Arsenal, man? What's going on? Is it the 6 0 no, that we I gave don't. you? Do you know what? I, 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 I've always loved Arsenal. I've always liked Arsenal. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. However, if I've got an opinion, I'll say it. And you really seriously believe that opinion, yeah? That Mainu is doing more than what Saka did at the same age. Say that again. Mainu's doing more. Kobe Mainu doing more than what Saka did at his age. I'm just saying my opinion is in terms of the influence that he's having on this team... He's more consistent than what Saka was at 18. Saka was carrying Arsenal I at the time, him and Smith Rowe. Come on, man. I'm uh, saying, I'm saying, Kobe Mainu, and, and, I'm ooh. just saying, Kobe Mainu, for me, from what I'm seeing, looks more consistent. In what? At, at, age. at this age. At this age. At this age. And everything, everything that's being put towards me, people saying, oh, he was playing so, Saka was playing so many different positions. That is, another that is another reason why he would be consistent, in inconsistent. 
Because it's hard to go from one, one place to another. James Milner no, but he was doing all of them 10. well. He yeah. was doing all of them well. Joe Gomez. He's and he, 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 he's, he's I've been saying it's a bad take. I told, you, I told you yesterday, Anton, it was a bad take. It's an even worse you, take you this morning. It's not, it's not aged well. It's a bad I take. You, Abby, we'll talk about Oliver Skip in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you're going to hang it up. No, you can't touch phone. you got a flight to catch. <laughs> Go on the plane. <laughs> All right. Come on, come Big on, Anton, though, man. man. You know you got this one wrong. When, you, when you're ready, I'm coming. I'm coming on. Oh, we got to bring you on, man, because you know you got this one wrong. That was like your brother. He knew he got that one wrong as well. Listen. Can't you guys answer, admit it, man? And, come on. And the way, and the way you lot have clipped it, like I'm comparing them as players. This is why I'm getting so much grief. I clipped it. I saw you saying it straight to camera. Hell of views on Twitter. You said it. You said it with your I chest. saw you saying it straight to camera. I've what clipped? My, I've said it with my chest, but go to the bit. You, you're coming like mainstream media. Anton, <laughs> 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 let me ask you a question, putting right? Up things, putting up things that are making me, me making people think that I am comparing them as players, which is not like I love Saka. I think he's flipping brilliant. Is it the six 0 we gave you? Come on, be real. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, Anton, he's saying, is it the six 0 Arsenal gave you at the London Stadium? It was lovely. It was lovely. <laughs> Let's go back to my time. Who, who, who was the last uh, team to win and? Win at Emirates. Oh, here, he at here he goes. Here he goes. All right. Last team to win at Highbury, he's saying. Oh, he's oh, 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 he oh, oh, he's oh, the last team to oh, win at Highbury. Oh, <laughs> Got all the way back there. It's really bad, man. With your big boy team. <laughs> all right, all right. Listen, he was a baller, man. He was a baller. <laughs> that was a total 90s era, He was a man. baller, but he looked like... Two, you... 06, Anton with the braids. Is that the job, the job sir, sure. Make sure you tell your that, please. No, no, but what it is, right, you was a baller, but it looks like you got too many... Uh-huh. He was too many headers. <laughs> right, you was doing, right? And I don't know what he's done, done to you, because I don't know what you're talking about yeah. when you... you can, listen, <laughs> you he cannot compare to Saka. Kobe I'm Mainu. I'm comparing them as players. I, I'm not. He's comparing the, the consistency and inconsistency. Yeah, but Saka was consistent. He's going to be consistent. Mad consistent, Saka. He was carrying Arsenal. It's a poor take, Anton. It's a poor take. It's a poor take. They're saying it's a poor take, Anton. But I rate you none, though. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming on, man. We rate you for that. Abby, I don't want to hear poor take from you. <laughs> <laughs> Understand this, you don't understand this conversation. <laughs> always what am I catching that for? I told you yesterday it was a bad take. <laughs> Well, you know, but this this isn't a conversation with the Tottenham fans. Who are you bringing? <laughs> you no, literally support West Ham, please, please. Okay, okay, Arsenal okay. Support our latest product. Yeah. Well done. You're, you're you're still passing your players on to better teams. Just Congrats. pumped on past Like you used to do when you used to sell them to us. Though. Abby, look at our track record of players. What Tottenham got? Zero. <laughs> Come on. No, we just used to, we used to Hurricane, nick your players. Right. Again, you're doing what you do now with Arsenal. We used to take all your good players Lasagna and just come that. play for us. <laughs> it's <just> rough. <laughs> anyway, I'll speak to you. All Don't right. worry, I'll big speak up, to Anton. you. Anton, big up, Anton. Anton, big up, man. Later, Thanks man. for coming on, bro. Respect, man. <laughs> nice one, bro. <laughs> respect, man. Respect, man. Listen, we really listen. I respect them. I respect the Ferdinands, like I said. A club that man. sold Mascherano, a club that sold Tevez, a club that sold Zamora, a club that sold... Jermaine Defoe. I mean, we can just keep going. They're a selling club. They're a tiny little club. <laughs> oh, tiny club. Jeez. No, they're not, Abby. They're Come a tiny on. club. Don't, 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 they're always have been. Been. Hey, they just won a European trophy. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're a massive club. Of West Ham. Always selling their players. Always selling their best products. Rice. There you go. Right, that was a Anyway, we, we, we was all in the summer. What about Bale? What about Modric? Yeah, they didn't What get... about Kane? Yeah. You're selling your best as well. Wait, what about Walker? Bale didn't come to the academy. No, but I'm just saying, he's a good player and then you sell him on. Anyway, let's get the West prediction. West Ham are massive, The United game, prediction. Oh, yeah, I forgot. 2-0 yeah, uh, uh, Man United. Ooh, uh, I don't like Brent- that. Two, two on don't. Brentford. Yeah, two I don't care like what you like. Two on Brentford. <laughs> two on Brentford. <laughs> wow. Why are you right, so angry? What's your prediction? <laughs> two on Brentford. Ooh, I'm oh, there's two predictions. The one that I would like is a 2-2. Two, two. But the one that I think <laughs> will happen... Let me finish. Let me stand, <laughs> Mr. Fleckington. Uh, and the result I actually think it will be, unfortunately... It's two one United. Yeah, I think. Why do you want two two? Be funny. Why wouldn't you just want Man United to lose then? Funny. Funny. I think, uh, funny. funny. So Three. you don't want Man United to lose. You want to draw? As a little. I just think that's well. It's going to go two nil. <laughs> I'm being really be close game. I think two one United. Only well. because I've been there recently, sat in that away end and watched how poor they were. Brentford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, but they've had a little break. Could that help? Oh, them I was watching I, the I planes. Um, two one. I'll go two one. Um, Let's uh, some of the other games. Tottenham taking on Luton. Should be a Tell standard win at home. Should be an easy <laughs> win, this, isn't it? Standard win at home. Tottenham, Luton. I'm, I'm not going to go standard win. Oh, right? we almost oh, got come on, get the confidence. Come on. <laughs> Honestly, the, the Fulham one really almost. threw me. Like, it did. Yeah, but that was a win. Yeah, I know. But I just feel like the, the, the way in which we beat Villa... 
like the momentum was with us, the mentality. I thought, yay, maybe we'll change finally. We hadn't. And then we went to Fulham and just got smacked up. So um, I feel like it should, it, it, it should be for Spurs, a game they should win. Um, they, they really need to bounce back after that Fulham game. I'll go, I'll go two, I'll go two nil Spurs, but like I am pensive about that. Like, You'll beat Luton at home, Abby, easy. Do you know what? I just- I, Luton I'm, at home. Come on, man. I said, I said a home win. I said two nil, but I just, I'm, I'm, there's, there's part of me which is worried. All right. I can't lie, I'm Flex. a bit worried. Tottenham will win. 3-1. I'll go one nil to Tottenham. stupid goal, but One nil, yeah. Luton have KG. got that dog in them. And they do, they do fight. Yeah. They do fight. The second half, they're much better than the first. Also, shout out to uh, Doughty. Any call-ups for England if Shaw's out at left back? Uh, Maybe as a backup? Or? Yeah, because you're thinking of Gomez getting in there. Well, chill well, chill. Gomez. I'm and going, Chippy will be back by then. I think I'm back going back there. 4-1. What a delivery though. I, yeah, I, I hope so. Yeah, I, mean, I do hope so. Yeah, that's, dis defense. that's actually disrespectful. No, they can't I'm defend, they can't defend, can they? Bro, I they don't know. Defend. Could, you could Newcastle versus West Ham. That's a good game. It's 12.30 kickoff. Oh, that's big. Matty versus Nicky. West Ham are weird because whenever the fans they get on him or oh, David Moyes can't do this, do that, and then they just put in decent performances. Uh, Newcastle, bit of a mixed bunch. Like at home, always you've got to back them. But away well, Forest went there. Chris Wood scored yeah, a hat-trick. Hat -trick. Yeah. That was a while ago now. Though, that but, was Christmas. Um, yeah. I'll say Newcastle. 2-1. Uh, tight game, Is tight game. Newcastle? Mm. Yeah. Newcastle? I'll, I'll go Newcastle, but I still think West Ham will score at least one. Yeah. And I yeah. do think... Um, I think Newcastle with Isaac Gordon and Almiron at home, they pounce and they, they're clinical. Um, so I'll go for them to nick it, but let's not count out West Ham. You, like you said, you never know what yeah, you're going to you get with them. It's like Brighton, like so Wolves, no, part, you know. Part of me is going to draw on that, like a 2-2 two -two or something. Yeah, I, I can, can see that. Yeah, I'll go that. I'll go 2-2. Two -two. I'll go 2-1 two one, one, Newcastle. One, a 1-1 one, one draw, I think, can see happening in this game. Aston Villa versus Wolves, 5.30 kickoff. Nice Big game, game for Villa. Mm. Um, Tottenham mm. would have played just before them, putting the pressure on them. I'm surprised that uh, one's at half five, you know, being a derby. Yeah, mm. Villa. You jump yeah. it earlier, isn't it? Villa versus Wolves. Derby I, I game. fancy Villa. I, fa I fancy Villa. I think Villa um, obviously <laughs> got a good last game. Who did they play against? Can't remember, but I know they, they definitely drew. I can't remember. I don't know if you get the fixtures up who they had before the break. break oh yeah, no, it's West Ham. It's West Ham. Mm. It's West Ham. Uh, when, yeah, 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 which is you know tough. Yeah, which, I, I think they'll they back, oh, back right. at Villa Park the out the yeah out the out the international break. Yeah, they were lucky. Um, out the international break. I just think Villa will calm down, put a good performance in. It's a derby as well. Villa might be rocking. Wolves can always cause them problems, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Cunha, I think Cunha's back. Yeah, he is after six weeks. I still go Villa. I'm gonna go Villa. I'm gonna go Villa two 0 Villa two 0 mm. Did anyone see Wolves Cov in the FA Cup? Yeah, what a game. Yeah, what crazy a game. game. Crazy game. And they're gonna um, be scarred from that. Yeah. Well. Do you know who I really rate? This eight Nuri kid. No, he's 22. been good for time. He's yeah, been good for a good few yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Yeah, yeah, he's good. I cut off his head. I bet he's better when he had the head. We're, we're yeah. even looking at him yeah. to replace yeah. Robertson. Yeah, he's good. Very good. Egyptian. I think so. Was he Moroccan? No, no, Moroccan. Moroccan. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Algeria. A very good player. Someone Actually, I think it. he is Algerian. Someone, good, Algerian. Someone <laughs> double check. Oh, Google it. But he's good. Down his stats, man. Isn't it? I think he's, he's good. Algerian. He's very good. Um, I'm going to go for Villa winning this game. 2-1. I'm going to go for a bit of a mad scoreline. Just because it is a derby and it's crazy Algerian. things always have happen in derbies. I'm going to go 3-3. Ooh. Yeah, a bit of a match. Yeah, can I? But don't forget, this game, you can play along for free at home with Match Bingo. Totally free. This is the, uh, the free card that we're giving you this week. Aston Villa Wolves, over £1,000 to be won cash. Um, and don't forget, you can also yeah. buy some cards and play the Man City Arsenal game as well. Every card purchased. Uh, Match Bingo do this great thing where they give half of the fee that they've got from the cards back to a charity. We've chosen the Stroke Association. You can buy up to five cards uh, per game to give yourself the best chance of winning. And it's very, very fun. So I'll be getting involved again. Do the same. Click the link in the description or scan that QR code on the screen to play and win some cash. Hopefully. hopefully. Okay, uh, some Asterix. more super chats here. Uh, Jerry Adams <laughs> says, uh, Flex, who's secretly your mom's dad. Same big break is. Who's that? Yamal. Who's Yamal? Oh, Yamal. The, 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 the plays for Barcelona. Said, uh, beak, not break. Such a rude. Nah, he ain't got big ears. What do you mean? 
You're not like yeah. Gareth Bale. Yeah, I've got the big ears. <laughs> uh, Anthony O, 1993 says, We've who's world class, Saka or <laughs> Menu? I mean, the laughing emoji. Uh, Box of Orange 18. Um, four says, uh, how many young United players have been hyped up only for the media and fan base to crush them under unreasonable was it? expectations? Nick Powell. <laughs> Powell. Powell. What's why? That's why you've got to be patient. Yeah, yeah. Clara you know Bitsy I mean? says, like yes, Williams. Flex is correct. We need to be patient with Menu. Or he could end up being a bum like Oliver Skip. Oh, God. <laughs> Canadian Guna says, Robbie, please, for the love of God, leave the hosting to AGT. You said oh, really? There you go. I thought he was going to say the opposite. Yeah. Uh, Frankie Farsan says, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. quick Depends. shout out to Elliot That's a good one. That for the nonchalant Rabona on the volley. On the volley it's, as well. Uh, it meant nothing and it was so unnecessary. But Ronaldo, or, sorry, Ronaldinho would be Bro, proud. He would be. Give if Ronaldinho more. did that, we'd be doing comps. Liaz <laughs> would be doing YouTube videos about yeah, it for a month. <laughs> um, Deepen uh, says, uh, where will Spurs finish, Abby? Fourth, fifth, sixth or seventh? It's a valid question. Uh, fourth or fifth. Uh, Clara Bitsy says, it's so easy for everyone to rattle Abby. Just one dig and you can see Abby Summers transform into Karen Summers. There's an eight minute long video of it. Oh. Why do you get rattled so easily? Why just, did you just leave? Why? Just that guy. <laughs> Why'd you walk around with sunglasses on for three weeks? <laughs> Why? There's also a clip of you lot when you're not near the top of the league and he's like, yeah, looking towards the top of the league yeah, and all that. Like, yeah, that's, I watched that on still... the train. <laughs> Down, yeah. uh, some more, some more um, games to predict. Chelsea versus Burnley. Ooh, Ho- horrible are, game of football horrible. to watch. Chelsea, Horrendous. three, Burnley, nil. 1-0. One Burnley nil. won the last game, remember? 1-0 one one, Burnley, yeah. mate. 1-0 one. One Burnley? Yeah, why nah, not? Nah, 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 nah. I'm just saying it. I don't... But why not? 1-1. <laughs> so someone's got one, one. One, one. Guys, Chelsea are going to be bad. You, you, you seriously mean that? With my whole chest. 1-1. One, one. No, I think one. Chelsea win. I said it to Matisse yesterday. <laughs> I bet you did. Chelsea won, Burnley won. I said it's a long day for you. No, they're going to beat Burnley. 1-1. Move on. Chelsea, Chelsea. Who's Chelsea scoring for Burnley? Free, yeah, Burnley. No. Free deal, Chelsea. Bournemouth versus Everton. That's Set a good piece. Game. Set piece. By the Set way, Everton. Good player. Yeah. Now, you know, could, you know, the, the, these teams with the deductions and all these mm. things happening. They've got 25 points, four above the drop zone. Forest are in the drop zone, as we know, after the points deduction, which they're appealing. Mm. Um, Burnley got a chance of getting out. No better place to do it mm. against Chelsea. Burnley got a chance of getting out. It'll but, be um, miraculous if they don't go down. Miraculous. Oh, yeah. Don't go that. They get out. Yeah, but if they were going to pick up a point, you'd think maybe yeah. Chelsea. But Bournemouth versus Everton. Everton, got, Everton needs to start getting points under their belt. Cause... Yeah, they do. And but... Bournemouth's not an easy place to go to. Nah. Um, they're just back off a 4 3 win from 3 yeah. 0 down. From 3 0 um, down against the Vitality. Semenyo. Yeah. Yeah. Semenyo. Um, and Dominic Solanke's a sick goal as well. Yeah. Wow, what a finish. So, <sighs> mate. I, I, I fancy Bournemouth, I, I you know. Fancy Bournemouth I fancy well. Bournemouth. Who is it, Bournemouth? Bournemouth. Who? I, I no, but Everton do like they—they're hard to break down. They hang on in there. They can nick points and stuff. No, two 0 Bournemouth. But they—they really? they eventually do collapse at Amiga. some point in every game. Two nil. Seventy-nine Bournemouth. minutes. They, they collapse. get draws and oh. um, I, look at City. Seventy-nine minutes. I'm mm. gonna go. I'm gonna go same as you. Two 0 Two nil. Bournemouth. Yeah, I'm going for Bournemouth. I think Solanke's just. And I'm not saying that. I mean, look at Brantway and Tarkovsky. They've actually been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but just I'm something. sorry, up front. Jordan Pickford will, will show you why he will let them down this season. And mm-hmm. people are saying, oh, he never makes mistakes for England. That's a load of cods. Apparently that is right, he did one in the... In apparently just that's the first, is that his apparently first one first, ever? Apparently that is his first one. That's what I'm saying. He's all right for He England makes Pickford. mistakes. He's very rash. Mm. I actually think England don't have, in my opinion, Ramsdale a standout number one. Yeah, I well, don't think there is. to get a game first. Yeah, if no one Seaman was in goal, you'd be like, yeah. Seaman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but now I'm like, well, could like be any of them. David, yeah. And that's, David not, that's James, not a compliment. Joe Hart, yeah. Paul Robinson, David James, yeah. Yeah. Rob Green, <laughs> yeah. Rob Green Foster. Yeah. Yeah. Do, we get, do we get your prediction? I think I said, what did I say? I think you basically just cussed Everton. You just cussed Everton. No, I said, yeah, Bournemouth to win. So... 2-1. I'm going to go draw, two, man. Oh, draw. I think that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Okay, Forest, who are in the bottom three now after the points deduction, which they're appealing. At home against Crystal Palace, they got Ooh. to start picking up points or they could go. Did you see what Stephen Reid said to Paul Tierney? No. I can't repeat it. Oh, okay. Oh, no. But he said it's the same every week. What, with, with, the, you... with, the, with the Liverpool <laughs> thing? Because the way Tierney picked up a big five In his though, report, he? he's picked up a five grand fine in the two-game uh, two, uh, ban. <laughs> But in his report, you know when you're reading it just as text? <laughs> yeah, and you Tierney know. Goes, and then he called me again, and that was the third time <laughs> that he called me it. And I'm just reading it going, fair play, Stephen Reid. It's about time someone stood up and called these refs what they are. 
But anyway, uh, I don't condone that, by the way. Abuse to referees. Half the table. Table might just collapse, man. That might be holding it up, mate. Oh my days. This table is genuinely right, on quick, its last leg. Quick, the, the, the table's on its the last leg. Show, Literally. Yeah. <laughs> table Jeez. All right. <laughs> we do need a new table. What's that? Top of the table. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we were at Forest versus Crystal Palace. Oh, well, That's yeah, not Palace are weird on the road. Uh, Forest crowd will be up though. Forest. 1-0. 2-1. One, one not a nice game to watch, but Divock Origi to net the winner. <laughs> And then send Everton into the uh, relegation zone. <laughs> it's it's oh. Liverpool, right, man. 1 1. 1 1. Sheffield game, United versus Fulham. Yeah, all of that. Of course. Fulham. It seems, even teams like Sheffield United, because of the points deduction thing, they've got a little hope now. So, nah, be, you, know man the the most, you know what the most Fulham thing is? Yeah, to go and lose so that now. Smack us up and then go and lose that yeah. game. But I thought, I thought they would do that after they beat us at Old Trafford. I was like, they're going to lose to Brighton. Yeah. Smacked up Brighton as well. Fulham, nah, Fulham are good, man. But Fulham will beat Sheffield United. 2 0. You know, there's. Uh, I, know, I think yeah. Lee and Abby this yeah. season have tried as much as we can to give Chef United a bit of hope yeah. and say, do you know what? This is the game at home. The Blades, get all the fans around. This will be the game. I think they we just, and it's they over. Never do it. It's done. Or they might have done it once. I think they got a last the, minute winner. I think winner. it was the one time we actually didn't predict them. Yeah, and they won. Ollie yeah. Norwood penalty last second. Like the, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. like the one time so, we actually said we didn't think we were going to win. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. you know, in the Neil Warnock days or the. The days where they had, you know, um, what's his name, Chris Wilder, but when they're in the championship, mm. and even the first season when they, they were, were in the tough. Prem, after COVID, COVID done them, bro. When there were trust no fans me, after because that. even like you go back to like the Warnock days, it was them. known as a really intimidating, tough yeah. place to go to. It was. I um, remember just before COVID happened. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure that Sheffield United got drawn against Arsenal in the FA Cup, and when it when it got. Um, Drawn, everyone was like, oh, t- Arsenal yeah, going Sheffield United. But we, then they had to play in COVID. I think Danny Ceballos yeah. done a madness and he won, but 1-0. We, we, it was we, tough. Last time we went in the Premier League before this season, they yeah, beat us. They beat, yeah, but after COVID, well, and the fans place. weren't there anymore. It just, yeah. no. it just changed. And, and, and I remember when we went to play them, um, the first thing I sort of thought to myself, hey, man, this place has been quiet, man. Mm. Obviously, yeah, and, and even different. speaking to their fans before the game, they were very defeated. So, yeah. And yeah, obviously, you've got to understand it because of where they are at. But... But I don't yeah, think they they're going to... It's not that, it's not that hostile just, place right now. They're no. just resigned to the fact but that But I don't think down. if they change their manager, it's going to improve. No, no they're, point. they're going down. They're, they're, they're going down. They've they got the players. They didn't buy no one. You don't buy no one, you go down. No, it's not going simple down. as that. Bob Hope. All right, let's take a, let's take a look at, um, before we go at the tables as it stand. Um, if we look at the bottom, uh, the bottom three are Nottingham Forest on 21, on 18, in 18th place. Burnley, just four points back from them now. Um, in 19th place, remember they won their last game, and Sheffield United, they've gone 14 points. But those two teams, Burnley, Sheffield United, Luton have got 22 points just above there. Everton on 25. No, they could get a deduction. Another one, but no, right. they've got it, and they're just going to appeal it, no? No, yeah. they could get they've another got, one, no? They, they could, could get, get another, another one again. They could get yeah. another one. Another a third right. one. No, yeah. the one from the, the appeal. The so the first one, where they gave them the 10, <gasps> yeah. and then they've reduced that. Reduced that. So then they've given and then them the second one. one soon come. But then the, if, the, they, if the appeal's wrong, one, then. Soon come. then they'll so give them back the points that they took. There is a chance that Burnley could get out of this. There is a serious chance that they could get out of this. That's mad, all this points so it's going to be really tight down at the bottom and some really important games coming up this weekend. And then when we look at the top, of obviously, Arsenal and Liverpool both on 64 points. Arsenal top and goal difference. Man City on 63. Really significant game, as we know, this weekend. Arsenal taking on Man City. If Arsenal win that game, really does sort of put them a little bit in the driving seat, especially pushes City out of it a bit because it would mean that Arsenal would go 67 points if they won. Um, City would be on 63 but of course Liverpool we keep talking about Arsenal and uh, City Liverpool got that game against Brighton they win that game before Could be that two game points even clear kicks if they off, draw. they'll be clear by two points and then what uh, and then of course <laughs> we got the, t- the fight for the top four or is it five? You could do five could Might get you five, maybe. fifth place could get you into the champ- in Champions League for next season Villa on 56 points uh, but they've played 29 games Tottenham played 28 on 53 points and United played uh, 28 on 47 points so there's a real big battle in that you know what's going to be really interesting the Spurs will also have another game in hand which will be the City game because that's been moved because of the Mm. FA Cup which might be played on the last week of the season so Spurs' two games in hand will be Chelsea away and City and you come to Anfield start of May as well and we've got Arsenal at home as well 
<sighs> and you play Newcastle. Do you know what? Sticky. That, that two or three weeks in May Huge is going to be so mental. horrible. Sticky, sticky yeah. time. As a fan coming on here, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the banter, be oh, on it's going to be <laughs> so much drama. <laughs> take a month off, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, can't super wait. chat here. Bring it on. October, November. It's going to be a lot of cooking. <laughs> super chat here from Mark Smith. Horrible. He says, Saar has better it. stats than Manu. Who? Saar. Never sleep on my boy. Maybe big up, Saar. No, I like yeah, Manu, good. Manu was injured like for about 25 games. Didn't want to say that, agency. I gave you the agenda, but... Yeah. Anyway, we've I'll reached the end of the show today. As we said, big, big game going on this weekend. Don't forget, check out the FCM boys. I'm sure they'll be all over it on Sunday, right? So make sure you check the them call out. call-in show with KG as well on Sunday. The call-in show the with KG. I wonder what's, if... What kind of smoke is he going to come Yeah, with? if Arsenal win... No, but he said to me the other day. He, he said he's converted. Arsenal. He said he does but, want Arsenal to win, but he doesn't mean him. it. He don't I don't mean believe it. that yeah, guy. Mean it. I don't believe it. But we're a liar. You gotta you check in the calling show. So that's straight after straight the game. After. Um on Sunday. Um so make sure you the two double headers there. You've got KG with the calling show and you've got the FCM podcast. That is gonna be absolutely brilliant. And of course, you've got those two big games on that day. Liverpool taking on Brighton and Arsenal going to take on Manchester City. What, yeah, a, yes, Sunday. what a weekend. What a super Sunday. Lads. Of course, uh, video brought to us by Train to Match Bingo. Yeah, a big chance to win some cash prizes uh, this weekend. We've got the Aston Villa Wolves game as the free card for you. But £2 is all it takes to buy a card. You can buy up to five per game. Don't even need the script. <laughs> to give you the best chance of winning. And every fee that is accumulated by the card from um, Match Bingo, half of that goes back into charity. You can click that link in the description or smash that QR key, uh, code on the screen. You know how it works. Very simple. So get involved and uh, be gamble aware, of course. Be gamble aware. Listen, thank you very much for watching the show today. Thank you very much to Abby. Thank you very much to Flex and to AGT. Big up, man. Be back on Monday. Vamos. Whoa. Make sure you turn up. Whatever happens. Please, Lord. Yeah. I need a win. I need this one, please.